Hello and welcome back to another Prompt Muse video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix those mid-journey janky faces. This also works for DALI output images and stable diffusion. Well, essentially any AI generated art. So come along and I'll show you how to fix those wonky eyes and those funny noses. So the first method we are going to be using is Arc by Tencent. It's an in-browser app and you don't need to log in, you don't need to make an account and you certainly don't need to pay for anything. So it's really easy and let me show you how to use it. So we navigate over to Arc and as you can see it's a pretty much of a WYSIWYG. So we're going to hit upload and find my janky photo. This image was actually created in Mid Journey, if you wanted to know. I can't remember the prompt, it was something about girls flashing in C. So it takes about 30 seconds for it to load your image in. Unfortunately, sometimes these in-browser apps can be a bit slow because there's a lot of people using the service. Here we go. And what I like about Arc, it shows you the before and the after. So you get this little scrolly thing and you can just push it back and forwards to see the difference that the app is making here. Now you can see it's not only sorting out the facial features, it's smoothing the skin and giving a colour correction as well. And I pull it right over, it's actually getting a rid of, bit of the shininess on the nose and refining some of the environmental detail. Now I think that looks quite good, the only thing is that it's smoothing and removing any of the textures. So if you've got kind of a, a textured illustrative look, this might not be the program for you because it's going to make it kind of photorealistic. But if you want a quick fix to upload your images to the Instagrams, this is a very quick and easy process. And you just click on download and the job is done and it spits out your image for you. Okay, now to method two. This is called GFP GAN and it's run on Google Collab. Please don't be intimidated by the user interface. It's very easy to use. What's really cool about GFP GAN is that you can actually save and run it from your Google Drive and make modifications to the app. All you need is a Google account, but for now, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to click connect here and then that will connect you. There are five steps in total and you just click the ticks next to them and upload your image. So, enough talking, let's get to it. So we scroll down to step one, preparations. The user interface is showing you the executions being run, but don't worry about that, you don't need it. You don't even need to know that, you're not a programmer. So when you hit the play button here, what it will do is run the code and you just wait to the bottom until it says 100%. It usually takes about 30 seconds. In fact, it tells you how many seconds it takes. There we go, we're at 100%. Okay, so let's move on to uh, upload images and that's number two. So again, hit the play button. Now you can select your image from your computer. So I'm going to go to browse, get my janky image. It's important to wait until the play button has a green tick next to it and then you can move on to the next step. So if this takes a minute, I'm just going to have a cup of tea. One thing to note, you can see the progress of your image being uploaded here at the bottom so you're not, you're not waiting for an infinite amount of time. Okay, that has now loaded. I've got my green tick. Let's move on to inference. So find that play button and hit the play button. Again, at the bottom here, we have the progress percentage. So keep an eye on that. It usually takes under 40 seconds, so it won't take long at all. Okay, so the next step is to visualize your image. So click the play button once again. We've only got one more step after this, so do not worry. If you scroll down now, you will see your images. And again, it's got the comparison between what you put in and what it spits out. So it has a very similar post effect to as Arc does. As you can see, it's created a symmetrical image, a more harmonious image. It has sharpened image and given it smooth to the textured skin, as well as upscaled the image slightly. And then the fifth and final step is to hit play on number five, download results, and that will download you a lovely zip file of your image. So our third and final technique or method is using Photoshop. You will require a subscription for this, so it's not free and you need some skills. So with a quick tutorial on YouTube, you'll be able to paint the eye, no problem, I'm sure. 
But this is the final technique and I'm done a really rubbish, don't judge me by this, but a very quick eye repaint so you can see what you can achieve. Now, personally, I prefer this method out of the free. You can create your eye from scratch and ultimately have complete artistic control over your design. Also, you keep the integrity of the original painting. So if it's done in a, quite an illustrated style or a loose painting style, you can keep those details. And here is a comparison of the faces across the applications. I've got the original, and then ARC, and then GFP GAN, and then two minutes in Photoshop without any color correction. So ARC and GFP GAN are actually pretty much photo restoration applications, but you can use them to fix up your dodgy AI. I would probably suggest investing some time and knowledge in getting to learn Photoshop then you can become a master of your own destiny. So that is the free method, the free, the free the, of unjunkifying AI images. If you have a better method, let me know in the comments below and I'll try those out. So thank you very much and that will do it. Bye-bye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I feel, always forget this bit. Can you like and subscribe and hit the notification button and I will come out with some more videos, okay? Thanks, bye.